Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, the Honorable uh, Committee of the Third Asian Education Symposium 2020 is the main term enhancing the quality of transdisciplinary education for sustainable development goals. I would like to say thank you for coming in my presentation. It's good to see you all and I want to meet you here. Okay, let me introduce myself and my partners in this research. My name is Wahidi Buska and my partners in this research are Professor Ahmad Sukri, Dr. Kaspul Anwar Usman, Dr. Diana Ruzlin, and Dr. Yogi Kartini. We are from Postgraduate School of the Sultan Taha Saifuddin State Islam University of Jambi, Indonesia. I would like to present my research under the title Implementation of the Utilization of Arabic as a Lecture Language in Islamic Subject. Introduction. The goal of the lecture to apply Arabic as the language of instruction in this religious course originated from the weakness of the most of the lectures in the Mastering Arabic and also in the methodology of teaching language. This study aims to describe the application of Arabic as the language of instruction in Sanskrit subjects Ilmu Tafsir, Ilmu Hadis, Fikir Ful Fikir, Dirasat Al Quran, Dirasat Al Hadis, History of Islamic Civilization, Islamic Philosophy, and etc. At and the Sultan Taha Saifuddin State Islamic University of Jambi. Now, part of this research is quite appreciated. The data was created using observation manual, interview, documentation, and questionnaires which were analyzed in order to pilot the implementation of the utilization of Arabic as a lecture language in Islamic subjects. Based on the type of research in water studies, namely file research, then the technique of the procedures used in obtaining data are interviews, observation, documentation, and literature study. To collect this research data, researchers use several techniques, namely review, observation, and documentation. Result in efficient enhancing the use of Arabic as the language of instruction in Islamic subject. Results for this research are first, Arabic as an introductory language at the Sultan Toha Sekhrim State Islamic University of Jambi still cannot be implemented to the fullest and only a few lectures have started to implement it even through no info. Second, Islamic lectures model that use Arabic as the language of interaction are very varied. A use Arabic surely B use Arabic in making a segment C requires students to refer directly to Arabic literature D use Arabic in middle and final test question. Third, Constant stress in the use of Arabic as the language of instruction in such material at the Sultan Toha Sayyidina State Islam University of Yabi can be classified into the three things. A. The constant and it comes from children, namely for the Arabic language skill of the student are very varied and the grouping of regular phases is the based on language skill. B. Constants that came from Lectures, namely, there are still some Islamic lecturers who do not have the ability to speak Arabic effectively, so it is difficult for him to explain the material in Arabic. C. Limited book and literature on Islamic subjects in Arabic. Four. The implementation of Arabic as an introductory language at the Sultan Taha Saifuddin State Islamic University of Jambi, when viewed from the theory of learning effect with the oriented as process and results, it can be said to be ineffective. Cause was of the process with result and the secrets relating to the material being so still do not meet the requirement, the effectiveness of learning that must be result in learning. Five, the material being so still that is meet the requirement of learning effectiveness that must be achieved in a learning outcome. Result and discussion. Yeah. First, Arabic as an introductory language of Islamic subjects still not, cannot be applied to the maximum, and only a few lecturers have trusted to implement it, even so it is not in full. Second, models of Islamic subjects lectures that use Arabic as the language 
of interaction very greatly and concentrated in the use of Arabic as the language of interaction in Islamic subject. So the implementation of Arabic as an introductory language of Islamic subject has not been effective because both the process of the result is attributing to the material being so still not fulfilling the requirement of length, learning effectiveness they must be achieved in learning outcome. For the material being so still does not meet the requirements of learning effectiveness that must be achievement in learning outcome. Conclusion. Based on the research from the interview with lecturers then in the study for the province we told to do not using early. However, after being crossed also the neurotic in a segment is desired even so many this not meet the rating standards. According to the lecture of some subject at the Faculty of Tarbia, that when given this choice to students to write papers in Arabic or English, apparently from the results of the papers positive, 60% of students write papers in English also, it is strongly recommended to use Arabic. This means that students still have a lot of difficulties when they have to make or write lecture since to using Arabic. Even so, they are able to carry out its sports, but gain the chance to fit in university material rather than Islamic material, they left their job. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in next presentation. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.